Guys, welcome to game four between Master Ray and Zeddy. Upper right-hand corner, we have Master Ray starting as the black Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Zeddy starting as the yellow Zerg. And Master Ray getting greedy last match and not getting up Corsair Tech, Air Tech, in time. And as a result, Zeddy able to get the Mutalisks out, punish his main, and really carry the game from there. feel like there's a lot of indicators in the space of this one is that Zeddy is capable of a lot of flexible builds here Two, master Ray I don't know it feels like he's a little uncomfortable cutting some corners in the midst of this I don't feel like he's playing I don't know I almost feel like he's not playing up to his full potential here a little bit we'll see if that that turns around here game four pylon at that natural expansion scouting after pylon very rapidly Perhaps wanting to go ahead and get... A, it's nice on a two-player map. This, this is an interesting spot for the spawning pool. Actually, this is kind of an interesting meta right here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this out. So Master Ray doing the early probe scout so he can get a good look at the, the timing here of what Zeddy's up to. To try to get an idea of whether he can sneak a Nexus first or for or gateway forge, whatever. The timing on the cannons, etc. etc. I think Zeddy being aware of that has opted to go ahead and go go for a nine pool opening. Although he's not following it up with gas. At the very least, what Master Ray is going to be able to do is he's going to be able to potentially harass this natural expansion. It's one advantage for Protoss players into player maps. Master Ray realizing <laughs> The meta 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 game, realizing it's two player, that his zealots probably weren't going to get a lot accomplished on this map, opting for forge first. Has to know he's got to get a cannon down. So there's the first cannon. And sometimes, I like this play from Zeddy, sometimes with that probe in location to go ahead and do some harassment, Zerg players will do this when they're going for three hatch builds overall. He is going ahead and skipping his natural expansion and opting to go ahead and take his third base rapidly. The Zerglings leaving that probe alone, which should give an indication to Master Ray that that third is nearby. Second cannon being forced because of these Zerglings warping in. No probes pulling off the line to block the gap. Sometimes they still can get a run by. Now the probes, well, one probe rejoining. Let's see if Zeddy is going to go for that angle. The initial Zergling is wiped out, so one Zergling down. A few additional Zerglings able to get that probe scout, the natural, but Master Ray knows that the second expansion has been secured. So if, I believe he knows he's going up against, at least as far as an early opener, three hatch Zerg. And I'm hoping he follows this up. This is a latest, so no assimilator again. Plopping down gateway. I honestly feel like in this in this situation, he actually... Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. Getting gateway. My concern is, is that he's going to be late. Although it looks like uh, Zeddy was a little bit delayed on his gas as well. Ignore me. We're fine. <laughs> Three drones and gas. Right there, third base is up. One thing with Zeddy going ahead and taking this base is it's going to cause the drone saturation to happen a little bit slower. Another probe sneaking out. Actually, is going to be able to go ahead and walk all the way to the natural expansion. Not going to be able to get into the main, but is it going to be able to swing around to the 9 o'clock? Mastery now has his assimilator up, cybernetic score warping in. I'm hoping he still keeps the Corsair tech. He's going to be able to wander in and see... No second gas, which is a big indicator he's going more towards the uh, kind of four hatch uh, ish hydralisk, you know, a push back to hydro play. Layer upgrading comparatively. Cybernetic score not yet warped in. It looks like a little bit of a bad drone transfer for Master Ray. Overlord sneaking across wants to go ahead and sneak into the main. Now, here's kind of the counter opportunity. Is here's the thing, Master Ray playing himself, he plopped down that cybernet that uh, Stargate at his natural, which delayed it on top of everything else. I'm wondering if he's gonna make the same play here. Overlord wandering in to try to get a look at the tech. There's the Stargate towards the main. Zeddy taking a wide angle to go ahead and see it. 
trying to meander his way in. Laird just finishing. I think he's going for... He's definitely going for Spire regardless. But I think this is going to be, again, more like 4-hatch with a, a Hydra followback. Sees the gateway. Stargate, I should say, and is backing up. There's the Spire. And we do see that he... Uh, still no second gas. Has got just four drones here at the... That actually is continuing to drone up here at all locations. And again, I believe... Well, we'll see. I believe he's just going to opt to play for more long-term defensive style. Two additional gateways plopping down. Regardless, because of three hatch, the Corsair should be able to wander out and go ahead and get that scout up and see the Mutalisks coming in time for cannons. And there's that fourth hatchery at that nine o'clock expansion. And a fifth hatchery, kind of waiting for a Hydralisk den someplace, perhaps a Sim City here at the natural. I like what Zeddy did in the meantime, moved a lot of the Zerglings around to get the scout. Also sees that Corsair via the Zerglings moving across. Spire just finishing. Should be, I assume, a Scourge to go ahead and deny this Corsair. There's the Hydral Sten being plopped down. So kind of a transition back to 5-hatch Hydra. Photon Cannon preventatively warping in here upon seeing the Spire, respectively. But I think might be cancelled upon seeing that Hydra Sten and that Hatchery, perhaps just wanting to respect potential Mulusks over the long term. Scourge are being morphed right here, so Master Ray needs to be careful. Ends up losing that Corsair before he's able to take out that first Overlord. Big win for Zeddy. Four gateways for Master Ray. Single Corsair hanging out over his main. is getting Zelt leg speed, so I believe he wants to follow this up with at least a Zealot attack, which I think is going to happen around... I don't know. It's it potentially once level 1 weapons and Zealot leg speed finishes, moving out trying to clear some Zerglings off the front. That'll be around the 9 minute mark if it comes. Two Creep Colonies already being built. And a single creep colony at the natural expansion with this and the hydralisks in the economy that Zeddy can produce. I think he's going to be perfectly, going to feel perfectly fine with that, but. Master Ray might want to sneak out a probe. Could go up to this 12 o'clock with the ramp, plant some cannons down, try to sneak into quick third. Moving his zealots the long way around. A second Corsair doing some damage to the Overlord midfield, but that is also allowing some of these Zelts to be seen across there. I think what Master is hoping for is an overreaction or distraction as the Zelts are moving into the 9 o'clock and being engaged midfield right there. The two creep colonies plus these Hydralisks should be sufficient with anything else built. Looks like a drone actually coming off the line to do some additional attacking. So that's getting cleaned out. Zeddy is in the red with that Corsair in the middle. But the Zealot's not getting a lot accomplished, to be honest. Mostly kind of just dying. Which is, as a turnaround, going to give Zeddy an opportunity to perhaps follow this up by pumping Hydralisks and going for a contain. He does have eight Hydralisks in production now. Does have a second gas up. And he has potential for th three gas, which is where Zerg starts getting really scary across all matchups with, honestly, not a lot of, of resistance comparatively. Six Zealots trying to give Zeddy the runaround. So he's not just attacking that forge, etc. at the main. Another gateway plopping down for Master Ray. So he wants to get it done with his gateway units. Psystorm is upgrading. Two more cannons on the front just so he doesn't end up losing his front door. And it feels like we're seeing a repeat of game two and three. There are no High Templar and no Psystorm, though, to deal with these Hydralisks. So this, this forge, well... This forge most certainly, the gateway and the forge most likely getting get taken out. Reinforcements are here to go ahead and deal with these zealots as they swing around. Zerglings and Hydralisks. Looks like the zealots still flooding in. Third gas now being grabbed from Zeddy. So Master Ray just feels like, yeah, nothing going right for him thus far in the game. He's also filling in with a handful of Mutalisks. 
which is going to make Master Ray's job of protecting his High Templar all the more difficult. Is he going to be able to get the Forge? Looks like that Forge is just out of range. Working towards level 2 weapons. So Zeddy, sitting at 40 probes, has three bases fully saturated, in the position he wants to be in, has a good deal of map control. Master Ray's attack forces did force a lot of units to be produced, but really didn't get him any sort of map control. Master Ray warping in all sorts of gateways. So what does this count? We're looking at eight gateways worth of units. So he wants to just ground and pound and finish this great side storm over those Hydralisks. Zeddy has a really good SimCity, though, at his natural. Has an okay Sim... Well, he's got just mostly units here at his 9 o'clock base. Question is, is can he get into the main and see a lot of this? Those Mutalisks that were produced not too long ago could be a huge amount of harassment to this. Because those High Temple are extremely exposed, plus forcing storms over their own Zealots. And that is not what Master Ray wanted to see. Master trying desperately to take that 12 o'clock, forcing a pylon cancellation. There are cannons in the main, some idols being reproduced. And Zeddy, flying in, going to try to take... Able to get one cannon down. I don't think he's going to get a lot out of this attack. But at the very least, he gets information on just the sheer amount of gateways that Zeddy has. And I'm hoping this provokes a lot of lurkers to be constructed, or at least a lot of units. He's just piling the units towards that natural. He's going to go ahead and take that nine, taking two bases on top of it. So the Mutalist swiped out. Or should be taken out by reinforcements. Dragoon and Corsair. More cannons being redropped. But critically, they, they sell all of the gateways. And Zeddy just piling up. There we are. Lurkers and just going for full contain mode now. Some zealots were able to end around and sneak out. Looks like about eight zealots there. Sorry, that's ten zealots. But they should easily be stopped just by the presence of the SimCity, and this is huge amounts of units to force Master Ray to stick at two bases. So Master Ray on the verge of elimination here. And the Lurker actually in range, just poking away at that forge. Level 2 weapons should finish before that really becomes an issue. Plenty of Zerglings gathering up to go ahead and engage these Zealots. Keep in mind, these Zealots do have the superior upgrades. Some Hydalus peeling off that Expeditionary Force, so they're going to go ahead and uh, pin these Zelts in. I don't think these Zelts are going to get anything accomplished. Though the Hydalus being a little bit dumb at the ramp. And these are units that Zeddy is, is happy to build. Because he is just, yeah, all sorts of Lurkers starting to group up. 9 o'clock base is up, not yet saturated. He is starting to get some drone production there. And just a big pile of yellow outside of Master Ray's base. And I just do not think he has the sufficient Psy Storm to clear this out. He is getting additional Dragoons to try to deal with the Lurkers, but it's still very difficult to break these style of contains. And more Zerglings started to flood out. There's only a single cell. I was hoping that was a probe that snuck out somehow. Queen's Nest in production for Zeddy as well to go ahead and push up towards Hive Tech. And as the Dragoons peel out, the Zerglings sneak up. The Psystorm's missing the Zerglings and actually catching some of the Dragoons as well. So Master Ray working on this contain, but unfortunately hitting, honestly, some of his own High Templar and getting some whiffs. And he needed every single Psystorm to just be nailing. Nailing these Lurkers and these Hydralisks in order to break this. Hydralis coming up. They're going to go ahead and pick off this Archon at a distance. Good Psystorm Storm opportunity, though. Catching a good half grouping of Hydralisks. Forge is going to get taken out. Some drones. Battle drones out in the front. Looks like they're misrallied. They're going to go ahead and go to that upper left-hand corner. And Zeddy just buying himself... Honestly, uh, continuing to hold this up can just buy himself time while Master Ray more or less builds all of his units and starves himself out. Level 2 weapons now online. Level 1 armor working his way. Master Ray opening up his front door to get a bit of better positioning. Corsair meandering out a little bit to just see what he's up against. Hive on the way. Another evolution chamber being dropped. Thing is, is even if Master Ray breaks out, 
He's got to break out and go ahead and take out some additional bases. To slow Zeddy down. And Zeddy's already hitting Hive Tech. Some follow-up Psy Storms. Once that Psy Storm has finished. Nice Psy Storm actually catching those Zerglings before it was they were able to get on top of the Dragoons. But the Hydralisk's now moving in. And I think this game is all but finished. We'll see. And I do believe Zeddy is going to advance to the BSL Finals to face Dreamer. I was expecting a repeat on this uh, on the opposite side. Mastery pressing forward. Lurker is burrowing. Good side storm, unfortunately, mostly on an empty field. The Zealots engaging the Lurkers. The Zerglings peeling in as well. And now it is just Zerglings and Dragoons. The Dragoons being forced back into the natural expansion. And Zeddy... Kind of piecemeal reinforcing, but still has plenty of army here to re-engage. And plenty of lurkers. The Zerglings moving. Zerglings do very, very well against the Dragoons. Master Ray just trying to, to bait the Zerglings in back to the cannons as best he can. But more reinforcements gathering up in the form of Zerglings and Hydralisks and bears. Oh my. And the Zerglings able to hold those else in position where they're just peeling on top of, of those lurkers and there's still a ton of lurkers. Still a ton of lurkers and more lurkers morphing outside this natural. It's very difficult to break this style of contain. Adrenal upgrades is already on the way. Honestly, just with the, with what Zeddy has right now, he should be able to hold this. With the adrenal upgrades, it's even even worse situation. Plus, all of these bases are mining and working. It looks like he's going to go ahead and put the cap on this and get another base. Master A, realizing this is the last match and a final, is going to try to put every last bit into it, though. But now Zeddy starting to press forward, picking off the High Templar on the front. Pecking away, getting his counterattacks in. The main is mined out. The natural expansion is it now for Master A. He's one base versus, what is this, five? One, two, three, four. F yeah, basically, but they're not all mining. Some Hydralisks getting a little bit too dicey on the front. A little bit too dicey, a little too feisty on the front. More blanketing size storm. Lurkers again grouping up to replace, but grouping and ending up being size storm bait, so Mastery might be able to find some open air here. But again, the reinforcements continue to pour in for Zeddy. In the form of Zerglings, they are now again. Cracklings, they've got that adrenal speed upgrade. So it's going to force what's left of that army back into that natural. Master A, with some of the lurkers down, trying to regroup and punish this. Zeddy has such a huge economy. He's going to go ahead and tell, take the 12 o'clock. He's got f nearly 3,000 gas in the bank. That's going to turn into lurkers. More zerglings grouping up. And Master Ray transferring the probes that were just sitting idle at his main towards the natural to provide some use. Archon getting wiped out. Just seeing a huge grouping of Archon uh, uh, lurkers. Not quite enough energy for Storm with the two remaining High Templar that are out there. The lurker is pretty well clumped, though. So in a moment, that might be a difference. But... Just Dragoons left. And again, Master Ray forced, uh, forced back in his natural expansion. And Zeddy... Yeah. Sitting at 140 supply. Just kind of slow playing this, honestly. I think he knows he's in firm control of this match and really only loses this with a big mistake. Reinforcing with just a handful of troops with Zergling Hydralisks. Continuing to get those bases mined. Good, another good size storm for Master Ray. But as we see, the armies are getting thinner and thinner that are trying to break these contains. And this almost feels trivial for Zeddy to, especially looking at his bank, to follow this up with. Master Ray trying to peek out. <laughs> That's a little bit BM. <laughs> Zeddy going ahead, taking every base on the map. 
It's gonna go ahead and take that, uh, what Mastery was hoping would be his third. Now the Hydro's pressing in, taking out what's left of the cannons. The Zergling's starting to flood in. And I'm expecting GG momentarily for Master Ray, as is natural. He's completely exposed. He's down to 200 minerals in the bank, and that's his last 200 minerals. And the Lurker is just diving in. I do not fault him for fighting to the very end, because this is this is a semifinal. That being the case, I almost feel like uh, this is like a time to like talk about the weather, like politics. Recently, England loses, right? That's been a big meme. It's not even that Italy won. It's like it, England loses. There's GG from Master Ray. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Congratulations to Zeddy. He's going to advance to the finals to take on Dreamer. For those on Twitch, I am going to pause here and do the finals on Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.